Hi, welcome back. In previous video, we have created a simple REST endpoint which returns a Java bin object that is single student object to the client. And we have tested using browser. Alright, localhost 8080 slash student and this REST API returns student object as a JSON format. Now in this video, we are going to create a one more REST API which returns a list of students to the client. Alright, great. Now let's go ahead and let's create a method within a student controller class. Let's give method name as, so method return type is list of student and let's give method name as get students okay now we need to return a list of students objects to the client for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list object here with a list as a reference type let's say students equal to new array list and we are going to add a student objects to this array list object okay students dot add student first name let's say Ramesh last name as a further Similarly, let me copy this line of code and paste four times and let's change the student names accordingly. Alright, so these are the five students we have added to the array list object. Now what we're going to do is we're going to simply return students object okay so we have created a simple method get students method which returns a list of students now let's make this method as a rest api by annotating this method with add get mapping annotation and let's add a url for this rest api slash students okay so this rest api returns list of students hence the name students okay it is a plural perfect now spring ms internally uses http message converters to convert this list of student object into array of json objects okay so let me quickly run the spring boot application and let me show you the response of this rest api so go ahead and run spring boot application run as Spring Boot app. Okay, our Spring Boot application is up and running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Let's head over to the browser and uh, go to the new tab and just type localhost 8080 slash students and hit enter. And there we go. We got array of student objects. Okay, so first student, this is second and then third and then fourth and fifth so this is how we create a rest api which returns array of json objects to the client okay let me summarize what we have done we have created a method called get students which returns a list of students and we have annotated this method with add get memory annotation and we have configured this and this rest api with uri slash students okay and we have tested this rest api using browser okay browser is in our case is a client and we have used browser as a client to test this rest api and we successfully got a response from the rest api okay great in next video what we'll do we will see how to create a rest api which will handle a path variable in a request all right i will see you in the next video